In Mexico, a treatment for Parkinson's disease is showing promise in laboratory rats. CCTV's Martin Markovitz reports on how it works and the possibilities of human clinical trials. Griselda Perez was beginning a promising career as a medical doctor when at 34 years old, she was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Suffering from the uncontrollable shakes associated with the disorder, she thought her career and her life were over. Being a doctor, I knew what this meant, and it made me very depressed. And there was a point where I was in my house all the time. I didn't want to go out. But then there came a moment in which I had to change and move forward, and that's when I started exercising. It's here with a physical therapy group that meets twice a week in a Mexico City park that she's able to deal head on with her illness. Through a series of exercises, she and others affected with the disorder try to relieve the pain of Parkinson's disease that severely affects their motor skills. In the last few decades, there have been new treatments that tackle the issues of pain, but nothing close to a cure. Now, there may be hope. Last week, medical researchers here at the National Autonomous University of Mexico said that they had reached a breakthrough in a new treatment for Parkinson's that they say could lead patients to make an 85 percent recovery. Dr. Patricia Vergara and her team have developed a dopamine implant that they tested on lab rats. Dopamine acts as a chemical messenger that links neurons across the brain and is responsible for controlling the movement of a human body. When someone is affected with Parkinson's, there's a deterioration of neurons which are responsible for creating the dopamine. This new treatment is a major breakthrough. The implants Dr. Vergara and her team use on the rats have shown stunning progress. We injected it in the brain of the rat that had Parkinson's, and once the rat woke up, he was able to walk, he was able to swim, and he was able to move. Obstacles, however, still remain in getting this treatment to the market. A lack of funding has hindered the project. Uno, Meanwhile, dos, patients like Griselda tres, Perez will cuatro, wait, hoping cinco, Dr. Vergara seis. continues his vital research until the treatment Seven, becomes approved for humans. Cinco, until seis, then, Griselda will continue ocho, fighting the disease seven, using alternatives like her physical therapy group. Siete. Marta Markovitz, CCTV, Mexico City.